stripped of their right to vote. They want the state to do more to educate them about a new law that may change everything. 10 News reporter Astrid Solorzano live at the registrar's office where an advocacy group just filed a federal complaint. Astrid. Itika, I talked to the advocacy group who's helping the man leading this charge, and they told me 32,000 people in California who have disabilities that weren't allowed to vote now have the option to do so. And we talked to the man who's not taking no for an answer. And it's taken this many years to try to get it back. It was tragic for David Rector to hear the news. He would consider it part of his being, his personhood. Rector suffered from a brain injury five years ago when it left him without the use of his arms, his legs, unable to speak. So when a judge made his fiance his legal guardian five years ago, David was devastated after hearing. Clerk, disqualified to vote. And that's when David yelled. And the judge said, is he all right? And I said, I think it's probably because he's probably a little angry that she just took his right to vote away. The group advocating for his rights says 32,000 people in California have had their right to vote stripped because of a disability. But a new law that was passed January 1st is making it easier for people to regain their right to vote. All they have to do is express it. We sat in dockets of people whose rights were taken away. And sometimes people would protest. And today they went to the U.S. Department of Justice to file a complaint asking the Secretary of State to send out letters informing disabled voters of their new options. The group also went to the San Diego Superior Court to have David verbally express his interest to vote. He wrote a letter. And he put it on his shirt and he said it with his electronic device. All three. I mean, if you say it three times, maybe somebody hears it. Hoping this year, after five long years. Fingers crossed. And, and the kindness and grace of elected officials and God's grace. He'll get to vote. Now, I talked to the office, the Secretary of State, and they told us that in these situations, they work with each county to send out pamphlets to inform people, but they did not give me a statement regarding today's complaint. Reporting live, Astrid Solorzano, 10 News.